Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my everyday makeup basket for October of 2018. I do have a playlist of all of my makeup baskets up until this point. If you want to check that out, that will be right up here in the cards for you to check out. Before we jump into the products I chose for October, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this monthly series, and if you haven't and you'd like to, I hope you would consider subscribing and hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday. Okay, so I actually did rearrange the drawers in here just a little bit since last month, so let's go through that real quick. The bottom is still my current project pan, so I have a finished 5 by fall in here, and I'm actually already planning my next project pan. The finale for my finished five by fall is going to be sometime either the second or third week of October, so keep your eyes out for that. But also that same week that I finish this one, I'm going to be doing the intro to my next project, so definitely keep an eye out for that. But this drawer is where I keep all of those products. The next one up is all of my powders, so let's go through that one first. I'm on a fairly regular loose powder rotation right now, so I'm bringing back out my Natasha Denona Invisible HD face powder. I thought about putting this into a project, but there isn't a whole lot really left in it, so I think after a month or two of continuous use, I could probably move this out of my collection, meaning it'll be totally empty. The face powder I'm bringing in is my Rimmel Stay Matte. This is the shade 004 Sandstorm. Again, I love this powder. I just wish that I could either depot it without ruining it or that it just had a little bit better packaging, but it is a great powder from the drugstore. The packaging itself is a little bit hard to show on this one, but this is the new Hourglass Ambient Light Un- Ambient Light Unedited Unlock- God dang it. The new Ambient Light Unlocked? Jesus, what are you called? So it's called the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I've really been liking this so far. You get two face powders down here, a bronzer at the end of the row, two blushes, and then a highlighter. At first, I thought this would be a little bit too dark for me, looking at the pictures online, but all the shades actually work on my skin tone, so I'm really enjoying this, but I do want to fully test it out before I do a video on it. I also want to pick up the other one, so this is like an extra palette that they came out with this year for the holiday. They're coming out with like their regular holiday palette as well, and I do want to grab that one too, and I don't know if I want to do like a separate video for each of them, or wait until I get that one and then just do a combined video like comparing both of them. The Hourglass palette really has everything I need other than a nice contour shade. So this is my Smashbox contour palette in light. This is my favorite contour shade, so I just brought it in to supplement the palette. I'm also bringing in a quote-unquote blush from Burberry. This is a very cool toned ashy shade that I use as a contour, like as a, a nice contour. It's technically called the Dark Earthy Blush Number 11 and I really like it for contouring. It's a beautiful shade, so I need to bring it out and use it a little bit more. So I'll be alternating between my Smashbox one and this one in October. And last but not least, I did want to bring out another blush just to kind of get a little bit more use out of it. This is from Pretty Vulgar, and this is the Make Them Blush number 18 Hush Blush. And it's a really nice, dark, like, mauve kind of blush that I think would be perfect in the fall. Okay, with that drawer done, let's move up to my foundation drawer. I'm carrying over my CYO Life Proof Foundation. I have the shade number four, I believe. It's a shade 104, so it's like the fourth shade in their collection. I really do like this foundation. I've used up about that much of the bottle so far. It's not the perfect shade match, but I love the way that it sits on my skin and lasts throughout the day. Next, I have the AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream. This is the Shot Miss A brand, and I have the BB Cream in light. I have been testing this out for a little bit, and I'm a bit confused. Like, I love, like, it looks beautiful when you first put it on, but I feel like by the end of the day, I do look a little dewier than I would like. So I think this would be a nice winter BB cream when I'm looking for a more dewy look, when I'm looking for more moisture, but it does feel really good on the skin, and it sits really well, like, within the first hour. So I am going to keep this in here just to keep testing it out throughout October. So I'm actually bringing back an oldie but a goodie. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I have two shades right now. I have shades 725 and 710. Back like a year ago, when I first tried this foundation out in the summer, 725 was my perfect shade match. It is very dark on me now. So then I bought 710, and 710 was a good shade match on me a few months ago. I don't know what happened or how I got this pale, but now 710's too dark for me. 
<laughs> so I do have to lighten these. I was actually hoping to mix these two together to get a shade for me, but it's just not gonna work. So it's looking like I'm gonna have to declutter the 725 and keep the 710 and lighten it. But either way, this is an amazing foundation, a great price point. It's one of my absolute favorites. It's one of the first videos I ever did on my channel. So I think I'm gonna try to use the 725, see if I can make it work for the next month, but if not, I'm gonna have to declutter it and just keep the 710. Next, I have the Too Faced Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation. I have this in porcelain. I've never been in a porcelain in a foundation before, but this does oxidize like crazy. It really, really does. Like, I'm gonna do a full video on this once I've finished testing it out completely, but it you need to go like two or three shades lighter than you normally would because it gets dark. <laughs> so far, I am enjoying it, um, but I do want to test it under a couple more circumstances before I give you guys my review. Next up, I have a foundation that I haven't tried yet, and I really do want to test it out this month. This is from Catrice Cosmetics. This is the HD Liquid Coverage Foundation, and this, what shade do I have? It's actually hard because they don't actually put the shade on the bottle. It's only on the sticker. I have shade 30 Sand Beige. The shade range on this is not great. It's really not great. It's... For the most part, Catrice doesn't do great with their shade ranges and any of their complexion products, but I have been wanting to try more affordable brands, and Catrice was on the list, so I did pick this up, and I am going to try it out. Okay, so now that we're done with the foundations, we're going to get to the part where I've actually reorganized the drawers a little bit. Before, I used to have all of my eyebrow eyeshadow products in one drawer, and then I had a drawer for things that I hadn't tested out yet. I moved the new products to a different drawer in my collection just so I could keep this like strictly everyday makeup. So right over here, we actually have my eye primers and then my mascaras. These haven't changed much, so I'm just going to go over them quickly. I have my Urban Decay Primer Potion right there on top. Below it, I have my NYX Glitter Glue. And then below, I'm not changing any of my mascaras out because none of them have reached the three-month mark yet. I have the Milani Lash Trifecta Mascara. I have the Urban Decay Perversion. And I have a mascara from Avon. It's like the Avon True Color Wide Awake Mascara. I honestly haven't even tried that one yet. Avon makeup is not the best in my opinion. Nothing that I've really tried has wowed me, but I'm gonna give that mascara a shot. Now over here we have mainly brow products, brow gels, brow pomades, and some eyeliners. I have two brow gels I'm still testing out, one from Milani and one from NYX. I have the NYX Control Freak, and I have the Milani Brow Shaping Clear Gel. I have three eyeliner pencils that I want to move in, a nude, a white, and a black. So I have the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlight, which is actually what I use as a nude waterline highlight. I have the NYX Jumble Eye Pencil in Milk, and then I have a really old Lancome Black Crayon Pencil that I absolutely adore. Last but not least, I have some brow pomades I'm actually testing out and comparing to the ABH Dip Brow. I have a brow pomade from Milani over here, and then I have the Wow Brow, whatever comes in the pot from ColourPop right over here. I'm bringing all three of these into my everyday drawer because I really do want to do a video where I compare these two drugstore alternatives to the ABH Dip Brow. I do want to put a good amount of testing into that video before I even really plan it out, so these are going to be in my everyday drawer for October. Okay, so now up here I have just my concealer drawer, and I just have a couple of concealers in here. I have the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. I really just want to use this and move it out of my collection. It is actually brand new. I bought it right before all that Tarte crap went down, and it's just been sitting in my collection. I don't want to throw it out because it is literally brand new and they already have my money. So I'm going to try and get my use out of it. Next, I have the Milani Secret Cover Concealer. This is in a concealer in a pot, and I actually really liked this concealer when I did my full face of Milani, so I am putting it in my everyday drawer just to test it out some more. Last but not least, I have a little favorite of mine. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, and I have the shade Light Neutral. I've always gotten the, the minis of these. I've never gotten a full size, even though I've gone through, I think, like two of these minis because I love, love the formula. Alrighty, so over here now we have all of my primers, and I'm trying to stick to like a couple of primers a month. I'm moving in my Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer, 
I don't like this as much as I like some of my other illuminating primers, but the one that I had in last month, the Burberry one, I actually want to include that in my next project. So a little bit of a spoiler alert there, but since I do want to keep it for that project, I am moving just this one into my everyday drawer. Next is the mini primer that just won't die. <laughs> I haven't been using this every day, but it's still been lasting me forever. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. And I need to just use this up. <laughs> it seems like it's infinite. <laughs> Last for primers, they actually had this as a 100 point perk at Sephora. So I thought, you know what, why not? I want to try it out. This is the Fenty Beauty Primer. I have not tried it out. I'm going to throw it in here, see how I like it. But I have to say for like a little sample, this is adorable packaging. Like it's an actual like bottle and then you get like a little... I don't know if that's a doe foot or not, it's like covered in product, but that's actually nice product, like product, well, that's actually nice packaging for like a sample like this. And then also, since I can unscrew that, I can get like every little drop out of the sample if I do like it. Okay, and for those of you that don't know, I do have another little acrylic drawer set on top of this one. I keep all of my bite size review samples up here, and then down here I keep products that I'm working on for like an upcoming video. So I'll give you a little sneak peek of that. So in that drawer right now, I have a few of the black lipsticks that I'm going to be testing out thoroughly for my upcoming black lipstick video. I have one from Wet n Wild, Jeffree Star, ColourPop, like the liquid ColourPop formula and the bullet ColourPop formula. There are a couple more black lipsticks that I want to pick up before this video, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get them in time, but at the minimum, these will be included. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope if you liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below what products you're going to be using in October. I love these videos. I love rotating things in my collection and I love talking to you guys in the comments. Thank you again for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye.